when you wait on the Lord. Now, look at your neighbor if you can stand and look at him or her and say, neighbor, what happens when you wait on the Lord? Look at someone else, the other side of you, front or behind you, don't leave anybody out. Say, neighbor, do you know what happens when you wait on the Lord? Amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord when you wait on the Lord. My brothers and my sisters, a whole lot of us wait on a whole lot of different things in our life. But nothing that you can wait on can compare to waiting on the Lord. Doing God's will sometimes means waiting. And you see, we, we don't serve a, a, a God that, that moves when you move. You know they got that song when I move, you move just like that. Does not move just like that. We serve a God that did move in his own time. And my brothers and sisters, whether you realize it or not, but it requires some waiting when you want the Lord to do something for you. Yeah, yeah. Next, next month will be two years. Uh, as shepherd of this flock and I'm still waiting on the Lord to, to move in this place and in the lives of some of his people. But I'm not getting impatient because I, I realize that I, I can't speak and God's going to move just like that. But I know that if I wait patiently from the Lord, the, the Bible, the Bible said that he inclined unto me and he heard my cry. And I know without a shadow of a doubt, God has heard my cry. And yes, brothers and sisters, some of you here today, you've been asking, you've been praying, you've been seeking, you've been knocking, asking the Lord for certain things in your life, and it just seems like God does not listen. But I'll stop by to tell you, he knows. God is not dead, but God knows. He knows what you stand in need of even before you can think or even ask. God knows. So I want to suggest to each of you brothers and sisters that it don't hurt to wait. You, you have heard this saying, good thing come to those who wait. Am I right so my brothers and my sisters, you, 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 if you're going uh, to trust God, you're going to have to learn how to wait. Yes, God will sometimes be waiting patiently while we wait. We can love God and serve others and tell others about Him while we are waiting. Am I right about it? Which is our Christian duty anyway. David, David, David is writing this, this song to the choir directors. In other words, he's he letting the, the choir know sometimes you got to wait. Am I right about it? And, and brothers and, and sisters, in each of our lives, there are some things that we want the Lord to do for, but it's going to require some. I know everybody in here want to be a millionaire. Am I right about But some of you just going to have to wait. And some of you are living beneath your privilege as a child of God because you are millionaire out here already. I don't know about you, but I'm a millionaire. I'm rich. I'm rich. Did y'all hear me? And if you a child of God, why? Because if you're God's child, and the Bible said that the uh, 
And see the salvation of the Lord. 
when you're going through. Why, why, why when you get sick, you want to stop coming to the hospital? Don't you know the church is nothing but a hospital? Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm, I'm just the one that's calling your name to let you know that the doctor's getting ready to see you. When I stand beside, behind this sacred desk to tell you what God said to Lord, all I'm doing is that brother and sister so and so, the doctor will see you now. But see, if you want to get healed, if you want your medicine, you got to learn how to come to church. You got to come to the spiritual hospital. And, and, and this is where you get your healing because I believe it was Paul who said, Forsake not the sinners of yourself. In other words, you cannot duplicate a worship service at home watching Pastor the on the TV. You're not going to get the same feeling watching the 